Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to connect up a PS4 controller up to your Mac to use it for PCSX free using the wired option. I found the wireless op op option option op option doesn't seem to work for this emulator. It works for the emulators, but this emulator is a bit picky with the way you connect it. So wired is the way to go. So you need a PS4 controller. Need a micro USB cable, you know, just the regular sort of cable that you get with a lot of Android phones, a lot of other devices, and your actual, you know, PlayStation console to charge up your PS4 controller. I'm not going to show you, you know, a little snippet video of the controller because there's no sort of special mapping that we have to do in terms of, you know, syncing, no syncing that we have to do. So all we need to do is connect here. I haven't connected it yet. So what I want to do is open up PCSX3 before we launch up a game. Go into preferences, go to controller configure. As you can see, it's only got keyboard there. So if I click cancel and I connect up my PS4 controller now, my PS4 controller light when I connect it goes to sort of like a light pinkish color. Now, if I go to configure, as you can see, wireless controller is detected. Now, I would recommend going through and mapping all of these controls. So press enter, up will be on the D pad down left so i'm just gonna press right on my you know key you know cross none of these are changing because i've already mapped it but i found when i first connected it the mapping was all over the place so you definitely want to do this and for select you can obviously put whatever you want but i recommend the share button for start press the option button okay so we have a map the analog sticks we don't really need to for most ps1 games to be fair if you do want to go to analog pad and literally go down and map the rest of these i'll let you do that i've shown you how to do it you should be all good to go so click ok and now let's run a game so we're gonna run recent crash bandicoot i've got a frozen state which is on the menu now i'm using the controller to go up and down And I'm just gonna gain there, confirm it's working. So I'm pressing the square key, triangle to bring up the menu, circle to you know spin again. That's the way it was in the original Crash Bandicoot. X to jump, and I'm moving around with the D pad. So let's just get this life and get some Wumper fruit, not apples, as some people call it. They are Wumper fruit. Okay, so let's turn down the volume. And that is it. It's literally that simple to connect up a PS4 controller up to your Mac. It literally just plug and play. Plug the micro USB end onto your PS4 controller. Plug the regular USB A end into a USB port on your Mac, and you're good to go. Just you know, sync. I mean, map the controls, and that's it. That, that's just the only thing that you have to make sure is that you select the wireless. It says wireless controller. Ignore the fact that it says that. The select your controller from the preferences. You can't access the preferences while the game's enabled so you just have to you know close the game and then go to preferences then go to configure select it map all of these if you have a second controller map that as well and if you want to go for the analog you can you know if you want to move around with the analog stick you can do that and obviously you can change the mapping as well if you don't want it directly the same I don't know maybe you want the face button where the d-pad is and the d-pad with the face button is don't know why you would want that but maybe you do but that's it simple as that if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video